We're at Rum River Art Center in Anoka, and we're in the Jan Johansson Gallery. Uh, and we're opening my show, which is uh, Photography and Pots. Um, it's a collection of photographs that I made, uh, mostly in Minnesota, a couple of Wisconsin, uh, northern Minnesota, around a lot of them around the Great Lakes and the state parks and so forth. Uh, and then I also am a wheel thrown potter, and so there's, I have a collection of stoneware pots here as well. Uh, well, Larry Weinberg, the, the director here, he asked me if, if you know, I was interested in teaching pottery here about a year and a half ago. So I started doing that, and, uh, and then uh, uh, Angie, uh, uh, Angie Renee, the, the creative director, uh, offered me a spot in the gallery, and it just, you know, it, we just kind of decided to put both mediums in and, and uh, you know, see how it came out. I've been looking for some opportunities to teach art and so I had reached out to the Rum River Art Center hoping to teach here and I have been getting to teach here which has been amazing um, but they also invited me to come and show my artwork as well which is just such a dream come true. So this exhibit is kind of a compilation of different sets of work that I've been making throughout my art career. Um, I went to the University of Minnesota Morris and studied studio art as one of my majors. Um, so a large portion of the art that you see today is actually from my time in Morris and then I've been adding to it over the past couple of years. It really kind of reflects uh, just a journey that I've been on with God over the past couple of years um, and that's kind of the purpose behind it. So that's part of how it came to be as well. It's partly a community you know, because you kind of sense that when you move around here, there's, there's, uh, you know, they've got painting classes, and and what's happening here today is there's kids classes and painting, and then there's a pottery class going on on the other side of the building, um, and so there's a camaraderie. It's valuable because it's a way to learn things that that maybe you didn't get a chance to learn, and it's a different way of thinking about things too, which I think helps to make you know, a, a more well-rounded person. You know, when you, if you can nurture that creative side you know, or, or um, the non-linear side of your brain, some people, you know, refer to it, and, and uh, the, or the intuitive side. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a good opportunity for people to come and, and experience something that they haven't had a chance to or that they've always wanted to do. My hope is that as people view the work that I made, that they can kind of see themselves in it or some of the struggles maybe they've had um, in it um, and be given sort of the same comfort that I was given.